Hi, good morning and welcome to our meditation. Today is the 17th of April. He is risen indeed. Today we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And the, we have been meditating on the importance of his death and uh, when he was put in, in, a, in, a, in a tomb and then the day he rose again from the dead. And I would like to read in Galatians chapter 2, verse 20, I have been crucified with Christ and no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. This is not just for Paul. It is for every person who, who comes to Jesus or who receives Jesus under the Holy Spirit in their lives. I have been crucified with Christ. I live no longer. It is Christ who lives in me. How come? How come? What happened that Christ now lives in me? Romans chapter 6 verse 4, we were therefore buried, buried with him through baptism into death, in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. How can you live a new life? By, by being raised with the, from the dead with Christ. The day he, he rose again, we, we, we rose again, uh, we rose with him as well. So now we can live a new life. It's the life that God has given us. As we said, as Paul wrote to the Corinthians church, he said, Jesus has become God's righteousness for us. So we have God's righteousness in Christ. We have God's life in Christ. We have received God's spirit in Christ because we were in him when he died, but we also in him when he rose again. Colossians chapter 3, verse 3, For you died, and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. You died. You have to say that. You died. You can say that in front of a mirror. I have died. I died. And now the life I have, I have it in Christ. Colossians 2, verse 12, Having been buried with him in baptism, in which you were also raised with him through your faith in the working of God who raised him from the dead. I like replacing the word baptism here by the word to to um to go to the to the bottom of the sea. He has actually put us in Christ when he died and also when he came out from the dead. So now we live depending on that power, he's saying here. That's what he's going to say as well in Ephesians chapter 1, verses 15 to 22, that God has filled us with his power, the same power that he used to raise Jesus from the dead. It's a power of resurrection that God has given us. And as he says, he's saying here, we, it's, no, it's no longer I who live. I, I, it's not me living, it's Christ in me. That's the secret of eternal life. That's the secret of the gospel. What happened to Christ now happens to us. That is the key to understand God's economy. God's project is all in Christ. Uh, I, I read once, I think it was from a, an American theologian who explained what this with Christ mean, uh, what it means. It's very interesting because some people even think that it was it was Paul who invented these words by using two different words in Greek to express the reality of with Christ and in Christ, especially with Christ. Sometimes it is translated together with him. When you wanted to make a cake, you have flour, butter, if it is a chocolate cake, you have uh, chocolate powder, uh, you have uh, lots of all these things that you put together, and then you put it in the oven. When you when it comes out of the oven, you, you are not going to tell your guests that you are going to serve them flour and raw egg. No, it is a cake. All those things together, they have become one thing. And that, said that American person, is what this with means. It means that when Christ died, you were in Christ. I mean, there is no other way of saying it. When he rose again, you were in him. When you believe, when you trust in God, you become one person with Christ. 
listen to what Paul says in Ephesians chapter 2, verses 4 to 6. But because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in, in mercy, made us alive with Christ. And we find our word here, with Christ. He made us alive with Christ. Even we were, when we were dead in transgressions, it is because of grace. It is by grace that you have been saved. And God raised us up with Christ, again, with, and seated us with him. So we have ascension here as well, in the heavenly realms, in Christ Jesus. So in this text of Ephesians, we have with, and we have in as well. Every blessing you can receive from God is in Christ, because you are with Christ. God bless you. Happy Easter.